Welcome back. You're listening to the Tuttle Group Radio Hour. I'm your host, Andy Tuttle. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm excited about this. We uh, always talk finance, real estate. We talk to financial advisors and CPAs, but we also get the opportunity on this show to talk to business owners from really all around the country. And uh, today is no different. We've got a local business owner here. He won the uh, 2016 Immigrant Entrepreneur of the Year Award from Chief and Stone, and he is the founder of One Solar Solution and you can find him at onesolarsolution.com. Ali Samana, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Andy. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about yourself. So what what uh, what did you do before this company? So I've been in the energy world for a while now. So I actually came from energy background, energy brokerage. We still have that business as well. And then uh, kind of transitioned into the solar energy world, the renewable energy world. I saw the writing on the wall being in the energy business that solar has a very bright future in the state of Texas. Uh, I know you talk a lot about business. For businesses, what matters is dollars and cents. And we could see it a couple of years ago that it may not have made sense then, but we knew a couple of years coming, the price was gonna drop and it was gonna start making ROI and it was gonna start making dollars and cents. Similar to like when oil prices at are at you know, 80, 100, $120 a barrel, it's all of these renewable hybrid cars start to make more sense. When it's down to 20 to $30 a barrel, it's harder to make those vehicles make sense. Is, it, is that it for a similar reason for solar? So the electricity prices, they track natural gas prices. So natural gas bottomed out about six months ago, okay? And if I could make it make sense at the lowest natural gas that we've seen in decades, then it'll make sense when the natural gas goes back up. That's great. That's beautiful. So that's really what we do is we sit down with our clients. We talk to them about numbers, right? We don't really care about sales. At the end of the day, I believe if I can sit down and make sense of numbers for people, their return on investment, their break-even point, uh, their ROI, I mean, you know, we can just run through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. At that point, they can make a logical decision. Right. So if it makes sense and they're getting 15 percent ROI when electricity is at its cheapest, electricity rates are only going to go up and then their ROI is even going to be better and they're going to break even even faster. So they're even going to be happier. OK, Ali. So let's take let's take a little bit of a, a case study here. Let's see if we can work through some examples. We actually have a lot of business owners or uh, executives, C-level executives that listen to this show. And so it'd be a very interesting. Let's let's do a breakdown or an example of a couple of the type of clients that would need your product, right? And kind of what kind of savings they could look at and what the cost would be. Okay, so for example, before I even go into that, there, if you have a lot of business owners that listen and if they happen to be in the city of Dallas, like not in the greater metro area, but if their address is Dallas, Texas, right. city of Dallas just enacted something called the PACE program, which allows for them to be able to finance solar for long periods of time at very low interest rates because the city guarantees it. So it's kind of like student loans, so mm -hmm. your interest rate drops. Furthermore, that loan is not even attached to the business owner, so their credit is not run. They're really not bogged down with it. So it makes it really easy when they want to transfer it. I have a, a developer, a real estate developer, speaking of a case study, who is putting this on one of his projects that he knows he's going to exit out of in three to five years. But he's going to get so much cash out up front in the next three to five years that it just makes sense for him to do so. So instead of paying out for solar, he's really going to be getting paid up front because of this financing option that we have available. So city mm -hmm. of Dallas, it's almost a no-brainer for any business to come out and do this. Um, outside of the city of Dallas, that's where we start looking at, okay, now the financing, 20 years may not be available, so we look at shorter financing terms. So generally, we can offset for businesses anywhere from 30 to 50% of their energy. Okay, depending on how much roof space we have available or if they have land available where we can put up uh, panels on land. So if we have either one of those options, we can get rid of 30 to 50%. What happens is when somebody buys energy, uh, you own a hotel, motel, gas station, or a building, you're looking at energy rates, you're paying three, four, five cents. And that's where mentally for you, it stops. You're like, well, I'm paying five cents, so that's really my cost. How much lower can you get me? Right. What you're missing is, especially for small businesses, the distribution cost, which a lot of times can be more than the three, four or five cents that you're paying for energy. Mm. So now you add that on top plus the taxes. So when it's all said and done, you're paying anywhere from eight to I've seen 15, 16 cent bills, right? When you get solar, of course you save that 30% or that 40% or that 50% off your bill. But the distribution cost in, on commercial meters, it is the way that it's passed through. It's not, it's not the same number every single month. It changes based on how you use energy, okay? So it goes off of your 15-minute peak. Now, it's going to get a little complicated, but follow along. 15-minute <laughs> peak over the last year, 
Okay. So if you used a lot of energy for 15 minutes, that distribution rate is going to be high for the next year. Mm. Because Encore now has to be ready, or whoever is distributing power, has to be ready to provide that peak demand for the next 365, year, uh, 365 days. So what happens is with solar, you're going to use a lot of your energy during daytime when it's really hot. But guess when those panels are producing the most, when it's really hot and it's daytime. So it helps you lower that peak demand. So not just does it save you 30, 40, 50% right on your bill, it also helps you lower your distribution cost, which then saves you on the rest of the bill as well. You're listening to the Tuttle Group Radio Hour. We're talking to Ali Samana. He is the founder of One Solar Solution. We're talking about the value of solar panels, especially if you are a business owner. So Ali, you're saying basically it's like, since you don't have that peak anymore, they don't have to price out that peak for the next year, so you just dropped your cost. That's exactly right. Yeah, so not just the 50% that we just offset, but the rest of the 50% was affected by it as well. What I tell all of my business owner friends that, let me take a look at your number. As an entrepreneur, as a business owner, if I wouldn't do it, I won't ask you to do it. At the end right. of the day, I'd rather not risk a relationship. So if somebody's considering it, I'd encourage them to at least look into it and find out what the ROI is today, what the tax benefits are. There's a tax rebate. Um, that a lot of people can utilize and use. And of course, they get a ton of depreciation off of it. So for, for businesses, it's becoming to a point where it's almost a no-brainer. If, yeah, that sounds like a no-brainer. If you want to find out more about that, you can do a couple of things. One, you can call us or text 469-319-0660. We'll get you connected with Ali. Hopefully you have that phone number saved in your phone already. You can also go to our website, thetelegroup.com, or on Facebook, and we've got all of his links posted. Or you want to go direct to the store, the source, go to one Solar Solution. Dot com. That's the number one, solarsolution.com. And so, uh, Ali, so what about homeowners? What about just, you know, people like, I mean, we're a business owner, but I, I'm a tenant, I lease, so it's not, I don't own the building. So what happens when, yeah, the guy, what about their houses? Absolutely. So we, that, that's the majority of our business. A lot of people come to us, they say, look, I, ha- I own a home. How much of it can I offset? Typically, generally speaking, you're going to offset 70% or more of your bill. So Whatever they paid last month, 200, 300 bucks, imagine 70% of it gone. And then there's zero down options for homes. So they pay nothing up front. There's three type of homeowner clients, right? I have one client that says, I've got cash. I, I'm going to put it somewhere. Tell me how solar is a good investment. At that point, ROI comes into play, return on investment. Yeah. I don't have a single project that was under 15%. So your, your, your listeners are very well versed. They know that, hey, S&P has done 10% around over the last 70, 80 years, right? Or if they're a little bit risk averse, they're gonna go to savings and they're gonna get maybe 1%, 2%, 3%. But talk about 15% with very little risk because you're betting on the sun, right? So that's one type of client. The second type of client says that, look, I have a budget. I pay 200 bucks a month in electricity. That's all I can afford. At that point, we get it financed with zero down long-term at low interest rates, and they still pay that 200 bucks a month and nothing more. And once it's paid off, it's free electricity. Remember, they own the system from day one. Right. Right. And then the third type of client says, I want to maximize and get the best of both worlds. So maybe have a little bit of cash, or maybe I want to pay it off fast, and then we figure out a plan that works for them. Hmm. Do you ever run into any issues with the HOA? Not at all. So HOA legally is not allowed to say no. So Mm. they can set realistic restrictions. And one of those common restrictions is you can't have it in front of your home, in the front of the house. So let's say we want, we need it in the front of the house for one reason or another, and the customer's okay with it. They don't mind being it in the front of the house. If we submit the paperwork and the HOA says, says no, we still have avenues to appeal it. And right. if I can justify with numbers that, hey, the production is higher on the front, they still can't say no. Hmm. So at the end of the day, HOAs, uh, they can elongate the process. They can be a pain, but they hmm. really can't say no. Well, I mean, it's a great idea. I've seen it. I've seen some of this on roofs in my neighborhood, and you look at it like, man, that, yeah, that's something to consider. So yeah. I'm gonna have to look at that myself too, especially if it's save money and it's also it also seems to be the right thing to do and where things are going. So appreciate what you're doing. Way to be an entrepreneur and capitalize on something that's doing good for the environment and good for people and saving money. I love when business owners are doing that. So Ali Samana, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. You bet.